Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and all of the fun holidays that you might celebrate this time of year. Uh, it's time for Cool Story Club! A lot of things can go wrong during the holidays. Your family shows up or you go to your family and everybody's stuck together for a couple days. Uh, things get lit on fire like candles. Uh, there's just a lot of things that can go wrong, so I compiled a list of possible Christmas emergencies and how you can handle them. This is how you can be prepared for the holidays. Your present for your significant other or your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, it didn't arrive in time. What do you do? Make a really cute note. Draw some pictures on it, make some happy faces, do some cool stuff and be like, this is one certificate uh, that you can exchange for your present which did not arrive in time. It's cute, it's adorable, people will appreciate it, they will be, they will get the same excitement that they would have gotten if they opened the present. In fact, possibly more, because if they get like a little note, they're gonna be like, oh, I just got a note. Oh, I get a computer! So that's a really cute way you can sort of extend your, uh, extend your Christmas giving time, so you have a little bit more time to be ready. Let's talk about what happens if you actually just forgot to get your significant other a present. Guess what? There's a really, really cool thing and it's called the internet. If you don't feel like getting something delivered and paying exponentially large shipping rates, you can always go on Pinterest. I'm gonna go on Pinterest right now and search gift for blank. So I'm gonna type in gift for girlfriend. Gift for girlfriend. You can make a camera strap out of a scarf. How wacky is that? Oh, here's a really cool idea. Getting some old controllers and framing them. Oh, this is adorable. Look, there's a whole link. 10 DIY gifts you can make your girlfriends that can take that you can make for $10 or less. 52 things I love about you. Write some shit on some playing cards and make a book and guess what? She's going to love it. Or you can make like a little coupon booklet, like this is something I will do for you. I will wash the dishes, I will massage your feet, I will go down on you for half an hour. Like all sorts of fun stuff you can come up with. Uh, and it's handmade, so guess what? Extra boyfriend points. Oh no, did you get your tongue attached to a frozen pole, you dummy? First, make a bunch of dumb noises because your tongue's stuck out and you can't talk. <laughs> Number two. If you can, use your phone and text someone to bring you hot water to melt the ice on the pole and release you. If you don't have any friends, breathe on the pole and try to melt the ice and use your own saliva in your finger and try to release your tongue that way. And then go make some friends. Did you drink too much eggnog? Did you get drunk? Did you get a little drunk? Say that you have a migraine, sit down, and shut up. Better than bringing up your daughter's leaked naked pictures at the dinner table three times, Mom! Oh god! Guys! I got a present from Bert and Duro! Oh my god, I'm very excited. Okay, I'm gonna open that later. I'll open that at the end of this. Tree catches on fire! What do you do? Well, first of all, let's talk a little bit about Christmas tree fire prevention. Keep it watered so it doesn't get dry and, and flammable-y. Be super careful with all electrical candle stuff. Make sure it's all far from the tree. Make sure that you're using really good uh, Christmas tree lights because if you use some ghetto brand, sometimes they and then can get, cause fires. Make sure that you keep your tree unplugged while you're sleeping. If it does catch on fire, do not Google how to put out a Christmas tree fire. Run, because that shit catches fire real fast and then your house will be on fire and then you will be on fire. So run. Okay, I tweeted about this the other day, but what happens if your dog gets into the chocolate? Milk chocolate, not so good for dogs. Dark chocolate, dead. If your dog eats dark chocolate and you do not have the ability to get to the vet in time, give it a teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide. Not like the crazy bleach stuff. Use the kind that's 3%, you can get it in pharmacies. It's about a teaspoon for every 10 pounds that your dog weighs. If you're having trouble getting your dog to ingest the hydrogen peroxide, mix it in with a little vanilla ice cream. Not chocolate, you dum-dum. And prepare yourselves for a geyser of liquid chocolate. Merry Christmas! Speaking of gross things, your family's over and you have completely run out of toilet paper and all the stores are closed. Tissues! Facial tissues! People forget about them. If you've got facial tissues, you have toilet paper. Or if you don't have tissues, you can use paper towels, uh, face wipes, 
baby wipes, or you could make like a 13 year old boy and repurpose some old dirty socks. Oh sweet Jesus, one of your family members has just come out as a Scientologist. Take their Christmas presents from them and tell them they can't have their cake and eat it too. Oh God, oh God, Uncle Frank is choking. What do you do? Chloe is about to give you a crash course on how to perform a Heimlich maneuver. Before you start the Heimlich maneuver, use the heel of your hand and basically smack them in the back between the shoulder blades a couple times and see if that will dislodge the food. If it doesn't, continue on to the Heimlich maneuver. First thing you want to do is get behind Uncle Frank and wrap your arms around him like an awkward prom picture. Next, you want to make a fist with your favorite hand and put your thumb inside your fist so you're not gonna hurt anybody. When you wrap your arms around him, put your other hand right around the fist and put it right here, right above the belly button, right below the breastbone. Now make sure when you're doing it, you're doing it with J motions that are quick and forceful. Now continue to make these motions until Uncle Frank coughs up that last little piece of bread roll. A++, you just saved a life and you're now the hero of Hyrule. Here's the ultimate holiday emergency. Your family is not getting along. Eh, whatevs, most families don't. Bust out the eggnog, double up on the rum, and wait for everyone to tire themselves out. Is it time? Is it time? Can I open my present? Yes, yes. This turned into an unboxing. <gasps> oh. I assume you have a corkscrew, but here's a cool one. And here's a, <gasps> oh! Look at my Day of the Dead corkscrew! Oh, it's so cool! And he made me a little Christmas tree lightsaber. <gasps> Bert, you're so great! <gasps> he drew me a fennec fox! <gasps> oh my god, I love it so much! Bert, you're the best! I love you so much! Merry Christmas! You're my favorite! I'm so, so happy right now. Oh god. See, this is the best time of year other than Halloween. Happy holidays, everybody. Thank you guys for watching Cool Story Clo. Make sure you're safe this year. Uh, don't drink and drive. Don't let your uncle drink and drive. And enjoy the time that you have with your family because they're special and you're very lucky to have them, even if they're total buttholes. And hopefully I'll see you guys at the Pizza and Porn Live show at the Complex in Glendale on the first day of the new year. Mm -hmm. There will be a link to the event uh, below and uh, make sure that you guys like and subscribe. I don't know. Is that what you're supposed to say? I don't know. Okay. I love you guys. 